latest update on Hurricane Irma as of 3 p.m. UTC, September the 9th, it had winds of 125 miles an hour and a pressure of 941 millibars, a high-end Category 3 on the Sapphire Simpson scale. 22.8 north, 79.7 west, and hurricane warnings remain in effect and are still being extended up the Florida coast. Irma remains a significantly dangerous storm as it grazes the coast of Cuba and it's hugging the coast and has been doing for the last 12 hours and it's likely to move then towards the northwest could re-intensify into category 4 status as it approaches the westernmost lower keys and could strike key west with category 4 winds and then up the western coast of florida fort myers tampa could all see hurricane force winds in fact it's very likely Right now it's 31 miles northeast of Santa Clara, 65 miles northeast of Cienfregos and now only 158 miles southeast of Marathon, Florida. It's a stage 7 on the CDPS scale. It's a catastrophic storm and remains so as it slowly moves towards the northwest. This is what we expect in the next few days in terms of hurricane force conditions, the percentages on the right hand side and all of the hurricane warnings down there at the bottom, Fernandina Beach to the Oscilla River, including the Florida Keys, Lake Okeechobee and Florida Bay and large parts of Cuba. Hurricane watches extend as far as Edisto Beach and Indian Pass. Whole Green and Las Tunas still under a hurricane watch as well. And in terms of tropical storm warnings, the Cuban provinces of Holguin and Las Tunas under tropical storm warnings and tropical storm watches extend to the South Sante River and to the Okaloosa Walton County line. That's the extremity of the tropical storm watch. And this is what we expect over the next few days as the storm continues to pound the coast of Cuba over Saturday into Sunday. And on Sunday, it will probably move towards the northwest, striking the keys Sunday evening into Monday along the western coast of Florida and uh, affecting all of those areas that you see there. Gainesville also above half chance of hurricane force conditions not indicated on the graphics there, just to mention. In terms of sea surface temperatures right now, they're very warm if the storm is actually over water, but at the moment it's three miles, only three miles offshore, um, which means that land interaction is still causing a problem to the storm. Jose, by the way, is still a Category 4 out to sea, well, not so much out to sea, but near the islands of um, Barbuda, just passing there right now, obviously affected by Emma as a Category 5, and Katia has dissipated. Wind shear remains fairly low for Irma and will do for some time yet, so still very valid concern for the storm if it approaches the Florida Keys um, but right now it may well continue to weaken slightly as it continues to hug the coast of Cuba but we'll wait and see what happens the National Hurricane Center thinks it will intensify rather soon and that could also happen equal chances of weakening and strengthening really um, as the storm tries to take advantage of the current conditions you can see in the latest imagery it's lost quite a lot of its cloud tops but still the central core is there and the eye is still there and whilst that remains the case the storm remains dangerous. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time with its tracker. You can also find us on YouTube, search Force 13 if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't. You can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter, search Force 13 all in text to find us on there. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, that's F00013 and an extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.